Evening, everyone. Welcome to our back to school virtual night here at St. Mary of the Hills. Before I begin, I just want to take a couple of minutes to lead us all in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We give you praise, O oh God, for everything that is new and beautiful, for everything which holds promise and brings us joy. Bless us as we start this new year with our friends and our teachers. Help us to make the most of every chance that we have to start afresh. May we show love to one another and to all. May the new beginning of this school year remind us that you give us chances to start over again and again. Help us to forgive others as we receive your forgiveness. Help us to learn to work together. Help us to listen when we should and to know the best words when we speak and when it's better not to speak. We thank you for our friends. Help us to be good friends this year. Help us to be patient with ourselves and with others. Bless our school and keep us safe every day. Be with us as we travel each day. Help us to be aware of your love shown to us and the people around us. And may the Blessed Mary protect us and help us to live as well as we can, giving thanks and glory to God as she did. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. First of all, I want to thank you so much for partnering with us to be able to provide in-person learning to your children. This wasn't easy. It was a huge undertaking. It took many hours of planning in concert with the CDC, the Milton Board of Health, the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, just to name a few. And there was a task force put in place here of some faculty and staff members. The students and the staff have done a remarkable job following the new safety protocols, and I could not be more proud. Teachers are not only teaching the students in their classroom, but they're also making sure that the remote learners have the same access to that curriculum and day-to-day -day experiences that happen in the classroom. None of this is easy. Teachers are working day and night with very little, if any, free periods. Please continue to pray for them and be patient when things don't go as planned. This is so new for every one of us. I'm determined, as always, to live out the mission of our school. Every decision I make, any instruction that takes place, any interactions with parents and students are always going to be centered on that mission. Christ's teaching guides us in our daily work each day, which means treating others the way you want to be treated yourself. You know that we promote a strong academic curriculum here, and it's tailored to the needs of individual students. Class sizes are small enough that we can differentiate our instruction to ensure all students are successful. As you know, we also have a literacy coach and a math coach and some special education services here, which adds so much support to our mission. Students are supported in the classroom and in one-on-one -on -one instruction or even in small group instruction and we use our resource room for some of that work. Having Spanish as part of our curriculum from pre-K to grade eight has such a benefit long-term. We offer many enriching opportunities for social development through our specialist classes and community outreach in initiatives. And spiritual growth is achieved here through daily prayer and soon we will be having monthly school masses again. All of this needs to be accomplished though in a safe and nurturing environment, which again is part of our mission. We continually work to ensure that the students arrive safely at arrival and that they are dismissed safely at dismissal. We all know Brook Road is a very busy road and drivers are often very distracted. So I will really uh, ask you and support me on this. Don't double park and don't let your child out on Brook Road. It's really not safe to do so. You might get hit behind um, as your child's exiting the car. And please make sure you use the crosswalks to cross over to the school. No one is able to enter the parking lot during the school day at this time. We have many classes outside and students are using the property for their mask breaks every day. And this year, I know we are working hard um, to create some type of virtual community events through our amazing PTO. 
Um, and I can't thank them enough um, for the hard work that they do on behalf of the school. And they're organizing a lunch program, which will start the first week of October, um, and some fundraising initiatives. And they will be doing that in partnership with our advancement director, um, Ms. Mrs. Elizabeth Eddy. Um, so you may start get some mail from her, some requests for um, some fundraising activities that we need to do here. Um, but anyway, I just want to tell you, St. Mary of the Hills is a happy school. Your children are so well cared for. I feel blessed that I can lead this school, especially during this incredible time in our lives. And I want you to know, I'm available by phone. You can email me. You can even try to find me at arrival or dismissal. I'll be happy to talk with you about any of your concerns or uh, if you want me to pass on anything to any of the faculty here. Um, and if you need anything, and I mean anything, do you need uh, help with, with some electronics at home or do you need any support or guidance, please don't hesitate to ask. That's what we're here for. And I want to thank you for attending your virtual back to, night, back to school night. And I want you to enjoy visiting with your classroom teachers and hearing all about the curriculum and the expectations. So God bless you all. Um, and again, thank you for partnering with us on this incredible journey during this time. Um, and know that, again, we are here for you and we are here for you students. So take good care of yourselves. <laughs>